Here are three of my favourite things in physics. First of all, this is my favourite diagram, and this shows an EM wave, an electromagnetic wave. And what you basically have with an EM wave, like light or radio, is that you have both an electric component, and at 90 degrees to this, you have the magnetic component. And B here stands for the magnetic field. So every time the electric field increases, the magnetic field is at 90 degrees, and vice versa as it moves along. That's my favourite diagram. Over here is my favourite number, which is the speed of light. And this is how fast an EM wave will travel through a vacuum. And it's 3.00 times 10 to 8 metres per second. So in one second, uh, light will travel 300,000 thousand metres. And that's something that you should remember and you might be familiar with from GCSE. Also over here, I have a laser. And if I just flick it on, I'm just making sure there's no reflected light which is going to hit me. Uh, this is actual fact a green laser. And so the light here is travelling at about 3 times 10 to 8 metres per second in air, which is pretty similar to a vacuum. But that does change, and it changes if we shine this light through another material. So what we have here is something which is optically dense, it's just a, a glass prism, and as we shine the light at it, the light slows down inside. And actually we can look at how much it slows down by, by using something called the refractive index. So the refractive index, n, is equal to the ratio of that speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in this medium. And what this basically tells you is, is how much that light slows down. Now, if, for example, maybe uh, something has a value of 1.44, so 1.41, uh, this means that the light will slow down by 1.41 times. So um, basically 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 1.41 would then give you the speed of light in that uh, material. So um, if you have things with a higher refractive index, they slow the light down more. And if you then have things like refraction, that means the light is bended more in those cases. So my favourite diagram, the speed of all electromagnetic waves, if it's radio, if it's gamma, if it's x-ray. And then if we think about how the speed of light changes when it goes through a different medium, we can measure that using the refractive index which is just the ratio of the speed of light in the vacuum to the speed of light in the material, and therefore n is just a number uh, with no units. So that's just a little bit about EM waves and refractive index.